ایران میں ایک فلم بنائی گئی جو حضور صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم ہمارے نبی ہمارے پیغمبر ہمارے سب کچھ ہیں ان کے نام سے ان کی زندگی ان کی پیدائش کو دکھایا گیا ہے اس میں تو اس وجہ سے چونکہ ان کا کوئی ثانی نہیں ہے ان کا کوئی کریکٹر نہیں اپنا سکتا ہے تو ہم لوگوں نے اور رضا اکیڈمی کی طرف سے ایک استفتہ فتویٰ کی شکل میں علماء کرام جو مذہب کے ذمہ دار ہوتے ہیں مذہبی پنچایت وہ کرتے ہیں اور اس میں فیصلہ سناتے ہیں اور پوری دنیا کے مسلمان مفتیان کرام کے فیصلے کو مانتے ہیں تو ان مفتیان کرام نے یہ فتویٰ دیا ہے کہ یہ ناجائز ہے یہ حرام ہے لہذا جن لوگوں نے اس فلم میں کسی بھی طریقے سے حصہ لیا ہے وہ تجدید ایمان کرے تجدید نکاح کرے توبہ کرے یعنی پھر سے وہ اسلام میں داخل ہوں Shabir is now joining us with more details. Uh, Shabir, what exactly is the Raza Academy objecting to as far as the content of this movie is concerned? Well, as far as Raza Academy is concerned, uh, they are saying that this movie uh, per se is uh, projecting a character of uh, Prophet Muhammad, which is completely unacceptable as far as Islam is concerned. And they say that uh, A.R. Rahman has composed music and this uh, movie is uh, promoted by uh, a, a director from Iran. Uh, so uh, they are saying that this movie has portrayed uh, Prophet Muhammad uh, uh, as a character and it has given a face so far uh, the muslim community has been opposing that uh, prophet muhammad should not be associated with any kind of caricature so here uh, there is a character which depicts uh, itself as prophet muhammad in this movie and that seems to be the major contention as far as muslim groups are concerned particularly with regard to raza academy this is what their contention is and they have uh, filed a complaint with the home minister asking for mm -hmm. legal action against uh, the makers of this movie yes. and also ar rahman and on the on the other hand, the chief Qazi of Mumbai has issued a fatwa against uh, uh, the makers of this movie as well as uh, against Yair Rahman saying that uh, uh, what they have done is something which is completely unacceptable right. and it cannot be tolerated. And similar demands are being made by other Muslim groups, particularly the Sunni Muslim groups. Uh, they are seeking a ban on this movie. But so far, there has been no reaction from Yair Rahman's side. But okay. I spoke to someone who is very close to Yair Rahman and they are telling us that uh, Yair Rahman's intention was not to defame uh, Prophet Muhammad and in fact... That's right, but the fatwa already issued with the film on the Prophet there. Uh, Shabir, thanks so much for getting us your inputs.